My campaign and I wish to send our condolences to the students and faculty of Stoneman Douglas High School and to the family and friends of the victims of this tragic attack that occurred. Uh, my family and I are very concerned because this attack happened very close to home as we're residents of Broward County ourselves. I know that in these attacks, the first reaction of many is to blame guns. But I want to say that guns are, are, are uh, one issue amongst many issues. With regards to guns, I support the Second Amendment. Now, I know I've deviated in the past from the NRA and the gun lobby with regards to uh, people on the federal no-fly list being able to get their hands on, on, on firearms as I'm involved in the counterterrorism field myself. But in this case, if, if, uh, if American citizens aren't able to purchase firearms and, 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 able to and aren't able to protect themselves, then the only ones that will have the guns are the criminals. We need to discuss mental health. That's certainly an issue in, in this case. How did this individual get his hands on a, on a gun in his mental state? Bullying is certainly an issue, and that's part of, uh, of, of the issue of mental health as well. We know, we know from statements from, from uh, students that go to Stoneman Douglas that, that this individual was ostracized from other students inside and outside the school. So bullying needs to be uh, rectified and that needs to be uh, an issue that needs to be discussed with, with parents and, and faculty and administration. Uh, security, you know, the lack of security in many public institutions, uh, especially in our public schools, that needs to be discussed. And, and, and I'll tell you that there's a lot of funding that goes into the Department of Education. Department of Education many times devours our, our, our public funds. Some of those funds need to go towards security, proper security for our public schools around the nation and definitely down here in, in South Florida. And we need to discuss the issue of the FBI. You know, the, the, the Miami field office was not notified, and yet the FBI was, was tipped off about this attack. That's improper procedure. I know from, from my work, you know, uh, about proper procedure with, with uh, contacting uh, the FBI, and, and that's something that didn't happen in this case, and, and that needs to be resolved. But before any of these issues, we need to stand with the families. Right now, a lot of people are hurting uh, when they really didn't, didn't need this, and, uh, and we need to stand with them. And, uh, and my family, and my campaign, and I, we are with you. I'm Joe Kaufman, and I approve this message.